So why are we interested in talking about soil? You know, here I'm holding the sponge. I've just pulled it out of a bucket of water. And if you think of our soil depth as the sponge, right now there's about a two inch layer of topsoil in my hand. And you can see there is water that is draining out of that. Now, if I flip that sponge this way, I've got about a five inch layer of topsoil and look at how the water is draining through there. The deeper the column of soil, not only is it better at supporting our plants, but it also infiltrates and holds water. And, uh, and if I don't squeeze a sponge, you know, now you can see you know, at five inches deep, we've had a lot more water drain out of here. But guess what? What if it's a eight inch deep soil profile? Again, there's more water draining out of the system. So, you know, we have more capacity to store storm water, for plant material to utilize storm water, and be able to, you know, provide ecological benefit to you know, our region. So this is why we're looking at sites when we've gone through a construction period. Instead of putting just that layer of soil back on the site, or this layer of soil, you know, we want this much topsoil as a minimum on uh, our sites. Again, again, just look at when I lay that back to two inches of soil, the water quits dripping. I go to that layer, you know, it's quit dripping now. But now if I go back here, we still have water draining out of the system. You know, so this is a real good method of, of uh, visualizing how soil depth is really important to our environment and to the plants that are growing there.